Hello and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Nuts and Cherries. She's Nuts and she's Cherries. And today we will be making something out of nothing. That's so mean. <laughs> they are pretty boring and they can get pretty bland. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of tofu by itself at all, right? At all. I never cooked tofu, so today will be a great testament to how we can transform them into something more exciting, delicious, yummy, and fun, and all those things combined. Woo, I am so excited. Oh. Go tofu, we're Go tofu. Are we talking to tofu right now? Like, subscribe, comment, share, and press all those buttons except the dislike one. <laughs> Do it. So for our first recipe, we're going to be making a Mumbai style tofu scramble that is fiery and has that kick and is that complete hearty breakfast without all the extra cholesterol that you end up having with like five scrambled eggs because we're going to be using just these tofus. So let's get to it. Start by measuring out 400 grams of firm tofu and then mash it with a fork until you get a scrambled-like texture. Set it aside and heat 1 tablespoon of vegetable oil in a large pan. Once the oil is hot but not smoking, add in 1 finely chopped medium onion and a handful of curry leaves. Saute till soft and fragrant and then add 1 inch of finely chopped ginger. To that add a quarter of a chopped red capsicum as well as one finely chopped de-seeded green chili. You can add more chili if you want it to be spicier. Now add two teaspoons of salt and saute for a few minutes and then add one teaspoon of red chili powder and one teaspoon of turmeric powder. Oof, it's starting to smell really nice up in here. I wish you guys could smell all of this. Now you can add a pinch of asafoetida which is a gum from a variety of fennel that has a similar depth of flavor to garlic or onion. Now you can add in the star of the show, your scrambled tofu. Tofu. Cook for a few minutes on medium heat until it's well combined and slightly browning. In goes in one chopped tomato and half a cup of coriander leaves, if you aren't one of those people who thinks coriander tastes like soap. To make it all a little bit more decadent and lush, add in two teaspoons of vegan butter. Here's where you can check the seasoning and add a pinch of black pepper or anything else you think this dish may be lacking. And it's done! For a finishing touch, garnish with coriander leaves and serve with some toasted sourdough bread. Let's see if our tofu hater becomes a tofu lover. Oh, this is like an explosion of spices and I really like the texture. It really gives a really nice bouncy texture. And it also has a little bit of a tangy finish, which I think complements all of the spices together. And it's just the right amount of spicy, which I really like because I love spicy food. Yeah, this is really really delicious. I think all together as a whole it is super nutritious and really yummy. Good job, Sherry! So next up, we are going to be making vegan tofu carbonara. And because it's completely vegan, I'm going to show you how we make bacon out of these bad boys. Okay, let's do it. Let's start by preheating the oven at 200 degrees Celsius to make the tofu bacon. Finally, slice about 50 grams of your firm tofu and chuck it in the oven for 10 minutes. While that's baking, we are going to start making our carbonara sauce. Place 300 grams of firm tofu in a blender along with quarter cup nutritional yeast, half cup vegan parmesan, half teaspoon turmeric, half teaspoon salt, and a dash of black pepper. To that, we are adding 1 tablespoon lemon juice. Let's pause quickly to check on our tofu bacon. Looks crispy enough. Now to add some not-so-secret spices to give that bacony aroma, which are smoked paprika, cayenne, some salt, and pepper. Give it a good old toss and add one teaspoon of maple syrup to bring out that smoky sweetness. I don't even know where my southern accent came from, but it is not here to stay, no. Anyway, I mean, anyway, we'll be using these bits for that crunchy topping. For the vegan bacon bits to be mixed into our pasta, we slice up another 50 grams of thicker tofu bits into bite-sized pieces and then season it with the same secret formula, which is smoked paprika, cayenne, salt, and pepper along with maple syrup before putting it into the oven for 10 minutes. Okay, back to our carbonara sauce. We are adding one tablespoon of tahini into the blender and half cup of almond milk. And then blend until smooth like a baby's bottom. And at this point, you can taste and adjust the seasonings to your liking before adding a little bit of maple syrup to balance things out. And our carbonara sauce is done! Time to boil our tagliatelle pasta till it's all dante in salted water. Our tofu wannabe bacon should have cooked halfway in the oven, so we can flip them now and take them out in five minutes. Woof, multitasking skills level 1000. Already silky 
cookie al dente pasta is all done and we can now get saucy. As in, we're gonna mix in the sauce. Hope Cherries is ready to eat because this dish needs to be served piping hot. Okay, our tofu bacon is ready to be mixed in. And to serve, we are going to use the crispy tofu from way earlier. Remember them. And we're gonna top it all off with some chives. Damn, that looks good. If I do say so myself. I hope Cherry saves me some. Bon appetito! Here we go. As a whole, I really enjoy this pasta dish. I think all the elements complement each other. You've got the smoky, you've got the crispy, you've got the salty, really creamy carbonara element as well. And the pasta is cooked perfectly. Well done, Nat. I think after this dish, I am definitely a tofu carbonara convert at this point. I think the bacon bits are the winner here. I did try it earlier on its own. It's like, okay, but when you put it together with the whole entire dish, the crispiness and the creaminess is like a perfect combo. Mm. Really good. Well done, yeah. Okay, so for something sweet, we're gonna be making a lemon tofu cheesecake and we are gonna be replacing all the cheese and dairy in this recipe with tofu. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but I've seen the pictures online and they look pretty good, so I'm hoping that it's gonna be good too. Wish me luck. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Now we're gonna prepare our biscuity base. Start by buttering your spring foam pan with one tablespoon of vegan butter and then place some baking paper on top of it. Now moving on to our crust, place two cups of crushed graham crackers or digestive biscuits in a large bowl and add one quarter cup of maple syrup to it. In goes in a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract and two tablespoons of vegan butter. Mix it all together evenly. This kind of reminds me of when I was a kid playing with dirt. This next part is like building a sandcastle. You need to get your fingers in there and form a base in your spring foam pan with the sides coming one quarter of the way up. Once you're happy with the shape, we're gonna bake it for five minutes. In the meantime, let's start the tofu mix. Get yourself two teaspoons of grated lemon zest. And with the magic of television, it's been five minutes, so the base should be cooked. We can take it out and move on to dissolving one tablespoon of cornstarch in two teaspoons of soy milk and set it aside. Next, place 450 grams of silken tofu in a blender along with a third cup of sugar and one tablespoon of tahini. For a little bit of extra flavor, we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract and then in goes our lemon zest and cornstarch soy mixture. Add a dash of salt to balance things out, blend it all thoroughly, and add a squeeze of lemon juice. Once it's all smooth, we pour it into our biscuit base and bake it for 30 minutes. Cool it for about 30 minutes and then stick it in the fridge for 2 hours to set. Oh my god guys, this looks like a real cheesecake. This is legit. Now let's cut into it and see if it stands the test. To serve, chop up some of your favorite fruit and pile it on top. That looks amazing. This tofu cake got me so high. Natalia better like this. It looks so pretty. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is really good. I was not expecting much from tofu cheesecake. The taste is very light. The texture is also quite light. It's not dense like a cheesecake. The taste overall with the strawberries and the graham cracker base, the whole thing becomes a really light, fresh tasting dessert. I wouldn't say that this is like a cheesy cheesecake, but I would say it's a really, really yummy dessert. Is it like tofu pa? It's a little bit like tofu pa. <laughs> oh no. But like, Angbo style tofu pa. It's good. I like it. Hello and welcome to another. I'm sorry, I ripped my hair. <laughs> All right, guys. As per usual, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. <laughs>